So the last video we talked about how to file your provisional tax return on e-filing and now we're going to talk about once you've filed your provisional tax return how to find out where to pay SARS and the payment details. So first step you're going to go to returns history we can now, now you've filed your return so it's no longer issued but it's, it's a history so re click on returns history. Next re click on provisional tax IRP6 now you'll land up on this page. So you're going to go to the top return, which I filed 2022-02. Click top right, you're going to click open. Okay, you'll come to this page now. You're going to click on request statement of account where the red arrow is. You're then going to click the little block where it says tax year. Select 2022 if you're filing a 2022 and then click continue. Then click here to view your statement of account and a new tab is going to open on your browser. Okay, so this is a page where it shows you how much your OSARs and where the payment details are. So you're gonna see bottom right where the arrow is. Essentially, SARS is a preloaded beneficiary on your internet banking. So if you're an ABSA, if you're a NetBank or Standard Bank, it'll be a preloaded beneficiary. Um, if you, not with the those banks, you're gonna to have to do a manual payment, which is not gonna be covered in this video, but maybe we'll do it another time. And you just make sure that you click SARS Prov uh, and not SARS ITA because you're paying provisional tax, so that's very important. See there it says SARS Prov, make sure you click SARS Prov on your bank. And then the last one is payment reference number. So the first, which I've blocked out there, is my tax number. Always have your tax number first, so you got to include your tax number, and then it says P00, which you can see there, and then that's always the same, P00. Now, this is important. Month, month, year, 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 year. So, if you're filing now 2022-02, the second provisional for 2022 tax year, you write 02-2022. So, it's not the month. I mean, it happens to be February filing, 02 is the same, but, uh, and for February, it's actually, you know, 02, 2022, but if for argument's sake, you're paying your first provisional, it's not 08, 2022, it's 01, 2023, if you're paying the first provisional for 2023. So just be careful to make sure you get that right with the months and the years. It's, if it's the first provisional, it's 01 for month. If it's second, it's 02. And the year is a tax year, not not the year that you happen to be in. So, like I was saying, if you're filing August uh, 2023 first provisional, it's going to be 01 2023 as the first provisional for the 2023 tax year. So, hopefully, this video helped you. If you think your friends might like it, share it with them and pop a like below.